Hello Mila, hello Jack, hello everybody else who's watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from The Magic Roundabout and it is Dylan's Disguise. Dylan was learning a new song on his guitar. Things weren't going too well. In fact, Dylan had just started to snore when Brian and Dougal arrived. I've got an idea, hissed Dougal. Watch this. Calling Dylan, calling Dylan, said Dougal. What uh, likes going on? Who has the loud voice, man? said Dylan. Then he noticed something in front of him. Far out, said Dylan. Are you from another galaxy or am I still dreaming? Then Dylan heard giggling from behind the trees. Hey guys, that wasn't very nice, he said. But it was very funny, giggled Brian. Dylan was almost cross. He picked up his guitar and ambled off towards his vegetable patch. Psst, said Ermintrude. I couldn't help seeing that silly trick Dougal and Brian played on you, dear. I have an idea to play a little trick of your own. She pointed to some old clothes and told Dylan her plan. Great idea, grinned Dylan. Later that day, someone new arrived in the garden. He wore strange clothes and an even stranger hat. But he seemed very interesting. Hello, said Florence. Welcome to the Magic Garden. He reminds me of someone, whispered Brian. First, the stranger painted a picture of Florence. Then he did lots of other paintings. Why don't you make an exhibition of your paintings in the garden, said Florence. Oh, control yourself, said Dougal. All this attention will go to his head, whoever he is. The exhibition was a great success. This one's my favourite, said Ermintrude. Thank you so much, dear. She gave Dylan a big wink. What else can you do? asked Florence. Well, I can play lots of musical instruments, said the stranger. So they asked him to do a concert. After playing the drums and the trombone, the stranger picked up his guitar. It's a pity that rabbit's missing this, said Dougal. I suppose he's sleeping under a tree somewhere. Then Dougal looked hard at the stranger. Brian was right. He did remind him of someone. I'll have you know, I'm considered a trombone virtuoso, said Dougal, getting on the stage. Dougal Angel Slide Jr. taught me all I know. Can we do a duet? Why, sure, said the stranger. When no one was looking, Dougal used the trombone to dislodge the hat. Ha ha, laughed Dougal. Dylan, it's you, said everyone. Typical of a rabbit, muttered Dougal. I hope you're all grateful to me for exposing his feeble trick. Well, I think we should say thank you to Dylan, said Ermintrude. He's really so talented, dears. All right, said Zebedee. Hooray for Dylan. Dougal was spent. Speechless. Everyone turned around to give Dylan a round of applause. But he hadn't heard a word Ermintrude or Zebedee had said. He was fast asleep. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.